Shalom brothers and sisters. Unfortunately, we're seeing more and more of this all the time. Why? Because it's becoming darker and darker right before our exit. Now, if anything, I want you to imagine for a second, if it's getting this dark now, this acceptable for evil now, everything seemingly loose now, what will it be like in that seven year period? And do you even imagine that you'd want to be here for any of that? Pastor comes out as a drag queen to congregation. Isaiah Saldivar shared footage of an absolutely heartbreaking and terrifying video of apostasy up front and center as a United Methodist pastor used the pulpit as an outlet to discuss his sexual identity as a gay man and talk about being a drag queen. The speaker, Rushing Kimball, is the pastor of Broadway United Methodist Church in Orlando, Florida. One of the first things he discusses with the congregation is how his drag name is still a work in progress. The next bizarre thing that Kimball does from behind the pulpit is who he decides to give thanks to. So uh, usually when pastors get up, they're like, I'd like to thank my spiritual covering. I want to thank my wife and kids. I want to thank the leadership here. Saldivar points this out, but then he says, Kimball thanks his makeup artist. I need to say thank you to Amanda Rose for doing my makeup this morning, Kimball says. Kimball continues thanking his community for making him the gay man he is today. No, Kimball, you and your sins being celebrated have made you who you are today. Not anything else. And it's really sad that people are so regularly doing things like this and then attaching the title pastor or evangelist or teacher or prophet to their names and thereby sullying and dragging those posts and positions that are important in the church through the mud that they have no meaning that people look down on them when they encounter a real pastor a real evangelist a real prophet a real teacher a real intercessor there's so many those things are being sullied and dragged through the mud by the enemy, by these fake wolves that wish to celebrate their sin in the house of God as if they were speaking for the Lord and saying, look, all of this is acceptable. I can celebrate my sin right here in front of you and still be your pastor and your teacher. It is a sick and heartbreaking time to be a believer standing on the front lines and seeing all these things. And the sheep being damaged and hurt in the process. I'm grateful at least that the Holy Spirit keeps reminding me just how short the days are. And how very soon the collection of the bride is by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Pray for all those people in that congregation that are confused, that are lost, that are affirming and woke that the Holy Spirit will work in their lives, that they will have a real experience with Jesus, that they will denounce evil and darkness and leave and go somewhere where they can be fed and looked after correctly as the Lord intended all along. And pray for the Lord to absolutely deal with these people and bring them to their knees in repentance that they may realize the damage that they have done. Shalom.